Although there hasn't been any mention of a live action Batman Beyond film, some new concept artwork has dropped on Instagram from a fan, which has created hype about Batman's future film prospects. The large fan base for Batman Beyond has been waiting many years for a live action version, and this artwork could finally be the catalyst for the project to come to fruition. Thomas Ducrest, a concept artist for Framestore, began posting numerous Batman concept pieces on his Instagram beginning on October 29th up until his last post on November 6th. The posts seem to exist in a futuristic Batman universe and include a winged version of Batman's costume, as well as a redesign of the Batmobile sitting in the Batcave. When interviewed, Ducrest expanded on what his inspirations were when creating the artwork. I wanted to play with the idea of a Batman Beyond adaptation set in Christopher Nolan's universe, and later went on to say that he tried to mix Nolan's realistic and practical approach with a more futuristic style. Could these pieces be the final push for producers to greenlight a new project for Batman? Let's take a look at the series history to see what fans can expect from a potential adaptation. For the uninitiated, here's a quick recap on the series. Unlike most of Batman's various incarnations, this series replaces Bruce Wayne with Terry McGinnis, born in the year 2023 to an astronomer and a research scientist. During his teen years, McGinnis' parents decided to divorce, and subsequently McGinnis began rebelling, which led him to join a gang and eventually getting arrested, and spending three months in a juvenile detention center. After being released, McGinnis continues his criminal lifestyle, which eventually leads to him being chased by a rival gang, the Jokers, which obviously take their name and aesthetic from their namesake. McGinnis ends up trying to escape the gangsters by inadvertently winding up at Wayne Manor. Bruce then helps him defeat the Jokers, which leads to the two forging a friendship that changes McGinnis' life forever. After tragedy strikes, and Terry's father's murder is set up by his boss and future nemesis, Derek Powers, Bruce makes Terry his protege. Terry mainly does Bruce's bidding in exchange to learn the secrets of Batman and eventually take on the role of fighting crime in Gotham. As mentioned before, Ducrest's concept art is directly inspired from the aesthetic of the Nolan trilogy. So how plausible is it that there could be another Nolan-directed Batman film based around the Beyond series? Well, at a recent interview with the Toronto Sun for his new film, Ford vs. Ferrari, Christian Bale stated, when filming the Dark Knight trilogy, him and Nolan made each film without thinking about future sequels although they did have a limit. Bale mentioned in the interview that Nolan had always said to me that if we were fortunate enough to be able to make three, we would stop. When asked about the producers, how about a number four, Bale said, no, we have to stick to Chris's dream, which was always to hopefully do a trilogy. Let's not stretch too far and become overindulgent and go on a fourth. So a Nolan directed Batman film probably is not happening, but that doesn't mean the future of Batman couldn't have a Nolan and Batman Beyond inspired film. With the new Batman reboot starring Robert Pattinson, the new upcoming film could renew interest in the action hero and convince filmmakers to finally make the Beyond adaptation that fans have been desperately waiting for since the series last aired in 2001. Although it seems unlikely that Nolan would direct another Batman film, the ending of his trilogy perfectly set up for the beginning of a new story revolving around Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character, John Blake, which could revolve around the Batman Beyond storyline. The ending of The Dark Knight Rises, which some may forget, sees Bruce Wayne giving all Batman-related tools and gadgets to Blake, whose birth name is Robin. This includes the suit, Batmobile, and access to the Batcave. Although at the time, the ending seemed to show the dawn of Batman's trusty sidekick Robin, consider the following quote taken from a 2012 interview with The Dark Knight Rises co-writer Jonathan Nolan, who mentioned that, it is a little hard to imagine Robin working in that universe. So a Robin-based film is not happening anytime soon, at least not in Nolan's universe, but why not another incarnation of Batman? Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character in the Nolan trilogy would work wonderfully for a new serious Batman film, and when compared to recent portrayals of Batman, Joseph Gordon-Levitt fits perfectly among the dark-haired and handsome portrayals done by Christian Bale, George Clooney, Michael Keaton, Robert Pattinson, and Ben Affleck. Levitt even confirmed in an interview that at the end of the series he takes over the role of Batman, stating, Now I think Nolan very much thought of The Dark Knight Rises as a conclusion. And there's a theme that runs through all three of those movies that begins in the first movie, runs through the second movie, and concludes in that moment where he says that Batman is more than a man. Batman is a symbol. And so to have another man, other than Bruce Wayne, kind of becoming Batman at the end of the trilogy, I think that's the perfect ending to that story. Despite the fact that Joseph Gordon-Levitt states that the film is the ending, with superhero movies these days, who is to say that it won't be expanded upon further after enough interest is 
shown. As mentioned in the video earlier, there's an upcoming Batman film with Robert Pattinson playing the lead. Information regarding the story has been scarce, so what the film could entail could be about any of the various Batman storylines, including a live-action Batman Beyond. However, whatever it is, let's hope it's actually released and not scrapped like Affleck's unreleased standalone Batman film. What did you think of the concept art? Would you like to see a live action Batman Beyond? And if you do, what would you like to see in it? Tell us in the comments, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to CBR.